Hello and welcome back to the FL Studio music production course. This is lesson two, which will be a bit of a shorter video, where we'll be going through the process of installing new drum kits and third party plugins. In the first video, we used FL Studio's stock drum sounds. Whilst these drums already sound great, you'll find that the majority of producers use a selection of sounds which aren't available in the drums folder of FL Studio. So attached to this video on my site, you'll find my enchanted drum kit, which contains all of the drum sounds used in my beats. We're going to download this and go through the process of adding this to FL Studio. Firstly, once you've downloaded the file, you can open this up in your documents. I'm using Windows, but if you're on Mac, the process will be very similar, just the file locations will be a little different. Now, right click on your documents to open up another file explorer. This time, we're gonna to go to this PC, Windows, Program Files. Note that this might be Program Files 86 for you. Then Image Line, then whichever version of FL Studio you're using. I'm actually using the beta at the time of recording this. Then click data, patches, and packs. Now I personally like to create my own folder, which I've called drum kits. You can do this by right clicking, going to new, and selecting folder. Now we'll go into this drum kits folder, and this is where we'll save all of our drum kits. Now go back into the other file explorer, where we downloaded the enchanted drum kit. Since this is a compressed zip folder, we'll need to extract this. We'll do this by clicking on this, and selecting extract all. You'll then have another documents page open, and you'll notice that this folder is not compressed. Now we can simply right click on this, go to show more options, select copy, go back into our drum kits folder, right click, show more options, and paste. Now we can go back into FL Studio, go to our drum kits folder, and click this button to refresh the browser. You'll then find that the kit's listed here with all of the sounds in it. Now we're going to move on to the process of installing a plugin. This is even more straightforward. When you download a plugin online, you simply need to open the application file and install this onto your system like any other program. Once this is done, load up FL Studio, navigate to the channel rack, then press the plus symbol as if you were going to open a plugin, go up to the top and select more plugins. Now click manage plugins down here and finally click find installed plugins. This will scan your system for all of your plugins and the new plugins will be displayed in yellow writing. As you can see down here with Quanta 2. Now you can close this, click the plus button, select more plugins and you'll find a new plugin here which you can double left click to open. That wraps up lesson two. Now that we have my Enchanted drum kit installed, we can use this for our next beats in the course.